Raise your right hand, please. You solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but truth, so have you got it. Thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> the Chinese, what are the Chinese up to when it comes to uh, counterintelligence operations and bad things? <laughs> so, Mr. Chairman, I would say that there is no country that poses a more severe counterintelligence threat to this country right now uh, than China. And I That's say, saying a lot. That is saying a lot. Uh, and I don't say it lightly. Who would be second? Uh, probably Russia. What's the difference between first and second? So, all, so China all. is uh, fighting a generational fight here. Uh, and when I say China, I want to be clear. This is not about the Chinese people as a whole, and it's certainly not about Chinese Americans in this country. What it is about, though, is about a country that is in a variety of ways through the Chinese government, the Chinese Communist Party, using not just government officials, but private sector entities, uh, non-traditional collectors, uh, et cetera, to steal their way up the economic ladder at our expense. Uh, and we have, as we speak, probably about a thousand plus investigations all across the country involving attempted theft of U.S. intellectual property, whether it's economic espionage or counterproliferation, almost all leading back to China. Uh, and so it is a threat that's deep and diverse and wide and vexing, whether it's in terms of the kinds of actors that are used, the kinds of techniques are used, the kind of targets that are used. Uh, and so we're working extremely hard with all of our partners to combat it. Uh, but make no mistake, this is a, a high, high priority for all of us. Is Russia, are the Russians still trying to interfere in our election system? The Russians are, are absolutely intent on trying to interfere uh, with our elections through foreign influence. Is it fair to say that foreign everything, influence in everything we've done against Russia has not deterred them enough? All the sanctions, all the talk, they're still at it. Well, my view is until they stop, they haven't been deterred enough. And they're still doing it? Yes. 